What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and as you know, that $300 per week FPUC boost, it was supposed to expire September 6th. 26 states said that we're gonna be ending it early. Well now, it's back, and we've now received word that even more states are fighting to bring it back. This is your unemployment update and your federal unemployment extension update. Now, as you guys know, I let you know on Monday that Maryland, Indiana, and Texas all had sued their state governors, and some of them actually were successful, and they have reenacted getting those $300 per week benefits back. And I'm gonna be diving into some articles, getting you all the details on each one of those states, but now we've received word that two more are gonna be added to the list. They're preparing to sue their state governors as well to see if they can bring back benefits also. Now, in addition to that, we're also hearing back pay. That's right. They're saying for the time that the unemployed have missed those benefits due to the governors ending it early from the time that it reenacts that there should be back pay as well. So we're going to see what unfolds with that. I'm going to get you caught up on the latest on the new states, what's happening with the previous three states and where we're going here because as I mentioned before in my previous video, sure enough, we are in uncharted territories with this FPUC boost. We've never seen this before and we're now having governors end it and if states are actually successfully suing their governors. This could cause a dominoes effect, sets a new standard, a new precedent. Once one state does it successfully, other states will say, you know what, we want to do the same. And that's exactly what we're seeing. So I would not be surprised if we don't stop at five, if this continues to happen. But you guys, I'm going to get you caught up on the latest as to what's going on with this right now as of July 7th, 2021. But before we dive in, if you can do me a quick favor, just takes a second. If you like and appreciate these updates, don't forget to just smash that like button, leave your comments, and share this out on social media platforms if you think it's going to help out other people. Now, in addition to that, if this is your first time here, come and join the Ram Fam. Come and join the viewing community. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and if you got any specific specific questions for me, best way to reach me is to shoot me a DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, you guys have got several articles on all these states to let you know the latest as to what's going on in Maryland, Texas, Indiana, and two more states that are going to be added to the list fighting to bring back the $300 per week FPUC boost, PUA, and PEUC, and potentially also get back paid for them as well. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so before we dive into the article, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Should we be ending this early to help encourage people to get back out into the workforce? Or do we still need this enacted and we need to extend this out till September 6th? And when we hit the September 6th deadline, should that be the end of it? Should we be done by that time? Or should we extend it out even further? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I know I've seen varying opinions here on the channel and from people that I've spoken to, but let's go ahead and dive into this article that just came out yesterday that's gonna give us a little bit more insight on Maryland, Indiana, and Texas. Link in the description below, and this article says, Maryland extends pandemic unemployment benefits after court order, but Indiana does not. It says, Maryland is paying its jobless residents pandemic unemployment benefits, including the $300 federal supplement, for another 10 days after the state lost several court battles to end the programs on Saturday. Now, Governor Larry Hogan, a Republican, he announced last month that he was going to be terminating the three pandemic benefit measures on July 3rd. And as you guys know, that's PUA, PEUC, and that $300 per week FPUC boost. Now, he did this in order to spur more people to return to the workforce. But unemployed residents who filed two lawsuits seeking to stop Hogan's move, they won a short-term reprieve when the state judge on Saturday issued a temporary restraining order and state's chief judge on Monday denied the governor's appeal. Now, more than 300,000 Maryland residents are in at least one of these programs, and some 85% of them will lose all of their support when payments end, according to a lawyer for the jobless. Yes, we have complied with the judge's order and extended the programs an additional 10 days, Hogan's spokesman said, and he said, we are confident though that the courts will ultimately rule in favor of our fight to get more Marylanders back to work. So they have a temporary victory against the governor. However, they're saying this is not over yet. Reading on, it says the White House and the U.S. Secretary of Labor agree that the governors, they can discontinue enhanced unemployment benefits and most already have. 
The situation is starkly different than in Indiana, though, where benefits ended on June 19th and have yet to resume, despite a state judge's ruling last month blocking GOP Governor Eric Holcomb's termination of the payments to roughly 230,000 Hoosiers while a lawsuit works its way through the court system. So this is where they're going to be talking about is there going to be needing back pay for all these people that are waiting? They already said they got it passed. However, they still haven't gotten their benefits. And here's why. Reading on, it says, the DWD is determining how to proceed because the federal program no longer exists after their termination on June 19th, the Indiana Department of Workforce Development said in a statement. There is no action that a claimant needs to take right now. If a claimant needs to take action, the claimant will be notified via uplink. So at this time, if you're in Indiana and you're expecting to get these benefits, back they're saying you don't need to do anything and if you do they're gonna let you know but right now they're trying to figure out how to get you the benefits from this program that no longer exists now listen to this it says in both states the jobless are arguing that state law requires officials to obtain all federal unemployment compensation available for residents so I don't know about you, but that sounds like all federal benefits, all three of them, and also when they say all, that also makes me think all the time that was missed, back pay as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now jumping down, it says the jobless in Texas have also filed a lawsuit against GOP Governor Greg Abbott for ending the benefits on June 26th, arguing he doesn't have the authority to do so. Now here's an article that came out. It says Texans sue Governor Abbott for ending the $300 weekly federal unemployment payments early. More than 30,000 people are a part of a suit claiming Abbott exceeded his power. Now, as you guys know, on Monday, I already reported to you that this particular lawsuit in Texas was not successful. They're saying they are not gonna be bringing this back. But here's another article that just came out that says protests planned as Abbott ends federal unemployment benefits for Texans. Governor Greg Abbott canceled the extra $300 federal weekly unemployment benefits. Those ineligible for state unemployment will lose their entire jobless benefits. And what we're hearing is, they're still gonna be protesting against this decision. So now let's discuss the two new states that are gonna be entering the battle to bring back the $300 per week FPUC boost. So link in the description below to this article that just came out that says, Ohio lawsuit filed to restore $300 per week in federal pandemic unemployment benefits. Now the article says that two attorneys from Cleveland are taking Ohio to court in hope of restoring federal dollars to the unemployment system. Ohioans were receiving an extra $300 per week on top of their state benefits, but that stopped on June 26. Now, it wasn't because the federal government ended the PUA. Those checks are scheduled to go out through Labor Day. Now, Governor Mike DeWine, along with several other Republican governors, said that they didn't want the money anymore. When this program was put in place, it was a lifeline for many Americans at the time when the only weapon that we had in fighting the virus was to slow its spread through social distancing distancing, masking, and sanitation, DeWine said back in May, and he also said that is no longer the case. So once again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as him and several other governors are saying it's time to put an end to this. The battle against the pandemic is coming to an end and we need to move on and get back into the workforce. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, reading on, it says the Ohio Restaurant Association supported DeWine's decision, saying that the extra weekly benefits contributed to staffing shortages faced by restaurants across the state. But attorneys Mark Dan and Brian Flick of Dan Law claimed that the move was not only callous, it represents a willful and blatant violation of Ohio law. So they sued DeWine and Matt DeSchroeder, director of the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services on Tuesday and asked a Cuyahoga County judge to restore the payments while the case is litigated. Now Dan said that Ohio unemployment law is clear. The state is required to accept the maximum benefit it can from the U.S. Department of Labor. Now he said unless the legislator changed the law, they need to accept these dollars and pass them on, said Dan, the former state attorney general. Now, similar lawsuits were filed in Texas, Maryland, and Indiana, as we mentioned, and the Indiana judge recently ruled that the state has to keep paying the federal benefits. Now, Indiana statutory language is very similar to Ohio's. We believe we are right on the law and absolutely right as it relates to the public policy. So as we mentioned before, they're now seeing what happened in Indiana and they're saying, hey, we wanna have the same thing done here and I wouldn't be surprised if we see more states follow suit as well. Speaking of which, 
Link in the description below to this article that says, Tennessee families plea with Governor Lee to reverse decisions to end the federal unemployment benefits early. And it says, Governor Bill Lee, I am asking you and pleading with you, can you reverse your decision? But a last minute attempt to convince the governor could fall on deaf ears. Now, jumping down in the article, it says, Tennessee's Department of Labor and Workforce Development says there are approximately 84,000 people in Tennessee currently receiving benefits from the additional federal payments. And Tennessee's unemployment rate is just below 5%. Now, in this article, I didn't see anywhere where they have officially sued the governor yet, but we're seeing these articles pop up with people pleading and protesting in the state of Tennessee. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see this pop up in Tennessee, and like I mentioned, in other states as well, following suit. Now, as more develops on this, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel. And in addition to that, there's stimulus talks taking place. We just heard that they wanna have the stimulus packages ready by next week. And this is gonna be through the infrastructure bill. As you guys know, there's two parts. The first, we could potentially have a bipartisan agreement on, and that is gonna be the American Jobs Plan. And also, second, is gonna be the one for human infrastructure, they're calling it, which could provide more stimulus provisions to people and families and individuals. That's gonna be the American Families Plan, and I will keep you up to date as we could see two different paths unfold with those stimulus packages. So once again, you guys, thank you for joining me. If you like and appreciate these updates, don't forget to take a second, if you haven't already, to smash that like button. I would appreciate it. Just takes a second, helps out the channel a lot. And if this is your first time here and you wanna stay up to date on all these topics, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, follow me on Instagram at SteveRam3. And if you wanna see what stocks and cryptos I'm trading in real time, go ahead and join that Patreon group. And if you wanna get some free stocks and cryptos right now, use the links in the description below. And with that being said, you guys, hope this reaches you well. I'll catch you at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in the next video. Take care, God bless. This is Steve.